we've been creating all kinds of different line segments and open shapes and closed shapes and curved lines and straight lines and all this great stuff. I wanna show you how to now manipulate this content. Now, what I've done is I went and closed out of that project file and I'm all the way back out to the, the original file where we were kind of goofing around and getting comfortable with the pen tool. So now that I'm inside this file, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything, Controller Command A, and delete these guys. Now, before we really dig into this, just a quick reminder that when we're creating shapes and segments with the pen tool, we have the two components, the anchor points and the paths. Think of it as a dot to dot, you know, when you're creating these shapes, something like that, right? As a matter of fact, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and create some kind of a quick shape like I've done here. It doesn't even really matter a whole lot what kind of shape you draw or how large it is or anything like that, that doesn't really matter. What I wanna show you how to do now is how to go and manipulate this shape, edit it and customize it. Everything that you create here inside Flash is always editable. You're never, you know, unable to edit something, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit on this guy just to get in a little bit closer, there we go, something like that. And the first thing that I wanna show you how to do is how to manipulate these anchor points. And of course, as we know, the anchor points appear wherever the line changes direction. We've been over that a couple of times already. So how do I change these anchor points? How do I change the angle of these lines? Well, that's really what the white arrow tool is all about, the subselection tool inside the toolbox. So go ahead and grab that guy, or you can tap your A key on your keyboard. And then what I'll have you do is bring your cursor over top of an anchor point and try clicking and dragging. And now we can completely manipulate this anchor point by simply changing his location on the stage. And of course, that has an impact on the shape of our object. That's really, really easy stuff. And once again, if you're used to working with Adobe Illustrator, this is all old news. You've done this in Illustrator before, right? So maybe I wind up with something like this. Okay, so that's easy enough. Clicking and dragging on an anchor point with the sub selection tool, the white arrow tool. Now, what if I want to adjust my curve? In other words, the direction that my curve is going in. Well, first of all, we need a curved line segment. So give me a moment, I'm just gonna move over to the right and I'm gonna flip back over to the pen tool just by tapping the P key on my keyboard. And now what I'd like you to do is quickly draw out some kind of a blobby shape, maybe something like this, okay? There we go. Now, these curves are, of course, controlled by direction lines. We saw direction lines not too long ago, but what if I wanna come back and control my curves? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the subselection tool, the white arrow tool, and of course I know that I can click and drag on my anchor points, no big deal to change my shape. But if I wanna change the curves, what I can do is I can grab the dot on the end of the teeter-totter and I can click and drag on these guys to manipulate the curve, something like this, right? Now perhaps working with a blobby shape is maybe not the best idea because it's kinda of difficult to understand exactly what's happening here. Maybe what I'll do here is I'll create another curved shape here for you. Give me just a second. What I'm gonna do is just do a simple straight up and down curve, something like that. Okay, we've seen this a bunch of times already. I'll go and grab my white arrow tool. So now if I wanna control this curve, what I can do of course is I can move the anchor point if I want, either closer to the ending anchor point or the starting anchor point or further away depending on what it is I wanna do. And then furthermore, I can grab the ends of the direction lines, the ends of the teeter-totter. I can bring them closer to the anchor point to create a shallower curve, if you will, or I can drag them further away to create a deeper curve. And of course, I can angle them at the same time. I can angle them outwards or inwards or whatever I want to control the look of that curve, okay? now. This is a little wacky, it's a little bit weird. How I think of it, this is how I, I discovered this, you know, years and years back, and I thought, you know what, that's such a great analogy. 
Think of these dots on the ends of the direction lines as magnets, and they're pulling that line segment, that path, either towards it, something like this, down towards the bottom, or further away. So in other words, wherever this dot goes, the curve is gonna follow it. It's like a magnet tugging it in different directions, maybe something like that, okay? So that's the basics anyway of adjusting and editing and manipulating your paths and anchor points, your curves and so on. There's more that I wanna show you. I wanna show you how you can convert anchor points. In other words, change a curved segment to a straight segment and the opposite, how to convert a straight segment to a curved segment. I'll show you how to do that. And I'll also show you how to add and subtract anchor points. And we'll do all of this in the next exercise. So just sit tight for a second.